Jasme is an organization that develops Internet of Things, IoT platforms, and decentralized data lockers. Data lockers are secure storage areas for an individual's personal data. So with this concept, Jasme is moving toward a goal of decentralizing data storage systems and networks. A distributed network is based on technology such as blockchain and interplanetary file systems, or IPFS, and aims to democratize the current data systems in place. If you want to know more about Jasme, you're on the right video. Jasme is formed of two components, the project and the coin. The Jasme project is the first Japanese blockchain project. Jasme provides a platform that looks to decentralize device and data coordination processes by using unique computing techniques and providing data security. The idea is to provide a platform for individuals to manage their own data and to provide a secure platform for doing so. Jasme offers data lockers in which an individual can store their personal data while being in charge of whether a company has access to it or not. This concept aims to execute both personal data protection and utilization simultaneously. The Jasme platform is powered by only one native token, Jasme. Jasme coin is an Ethereum-based token and the first cryptocurrency to become legally compliant in Japan and listed on a Japanese cryptocurrency exchange. In a country where crypto is regulated heavily and governed under strict conditions, this is quite significant. Jasme crypto will be used as a payment by service providers that wish to use an individual's personal data for marketing or promotional purposes. So, what exactly does Jasme do? A significant part of the Jasme project intends to place ownership of individuals' personal data back into their own hands. Usually, personal data will be acquired by companies that utilize a service providing platform. There's generally no charge for the data when using the platform as a service cloud computing model. And so Jasme claims to offer a solution for the protection and ownership of the data. But how does Jasme's IoT service work? Following the concept of Web 3.0, an idea centered around automation and Internet of Things devices, Jasmine promotes the idea that all types of data hold value. As Sir Francis Bacon once said, knowledge itself is power. Society is currently focused on big data, which includes names, addresses, and other personal details. However, small data tends to be underestimated. Small data is data that tracks an individual's actions and can therefore be used for direct advertising and marketing. It's predicted that there will be 41.6 billion interconnected IoT devices by 2025, generating almost 8 zettabytes of data per year. When taking this into consideration, the concept of truly owning one's data and receiving payment for its usage is something that will likely appeal to many users. Let's imagine the steps of this process in action. First, an individual uses Jasme to place all of their data into a Jasme locker. This includes both big personal data and small data from online browsing, website visits, likes, follows, etc. Speaking of likes and subscribes, why don't you go ahead and give this video a like and give the channel a subscribe. Maybe even share the video with your friends and comment something interesting below. It'll really help out a lot. Now let's continue. Companies who would like to acquire an individual's data for their own usage must then pay Jasme and the owner of the data. Jasme only accepts the Jasme token's payment. So all trading in this sense will be centered around the Jasme coin. Then each time a company requests a Jasme user's data, the individual will be notified and given the option to either accept or decline the request. If accepted, the individual will receive Jasme in exchange for their data. So that about describes what Jasme aims to do. Now let's take a look at what technologies Jasme uses to provide its service. Jasme uses some individual concepts alongside its ecosystem to focus on the decentralization process and its goal of realizing a data democracy. The first of these technologies is edge computing. Jasme platform uses a decentralized computation model to process its data, which differs from using a centralized cloud-based IoT platform as a service provider. The data processing is distributed more evenly by shifting the majority of the data to the outer edges of the network rather than the center. The distribution of the data can reduce the risk of data loss and hacking and provide a more secure server due to the termination of devices' local connections if they've been compromised. 
Heavier security protection and traditional encryptions are then added to the connection between the edge servers and the data center. Each edge can also work autonomously, allowing the server's architecture to cope with vulnerability more easily. Another technology Jasmine uses is the Interplanetary File System, IPFS. IPFS is a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing system that can be used to share large amounts of data by placing the IPFS links into a blockchain. An important component of the blockchain technology used is the immutability of data. The data must be consistently written into blocks that cannot then be altered. Another aspect of blockchain technology is the approval algorithm. Rather than a central third party, which will secure the data's authenticity, the distributed network represents yet another movement toward Jasmine's data democracy goal. And finally, Jasmine uses its own technology called JasmineNet. JasmineNet is a unique concept belonging to Jasmine. It's a network environment that involves the participation of authorized companies only. This creates a secure network environment for members to utilize in order to write data, keys, hashes, and other records into the blockchain. Companies are able to either provide services using smart contracts or develop new services based on the shared data within the network. And now we get to another important question for any blockchain project. Who's behind Jasmine? Jasmine was created by a selection of engineers, marketers, and developers formerly employed by Sony. The team includes Konutake Ando, the chairman of BAGIT Limited and former president of Sony, Kazumasa Sato, former Sony president, Masanobu Yoshida, head of design at Sony and former president of Sony Style, Todashi Manta, a strategist at Sony, and CFO Hiroshi Hirata, a certified professional accountant, or CPA, at KPMG. Jasmine has also attracted the interest of some big names in the technology industry. Transcosmos, the largest call center in Japan, utilized Jasmine during the recent pandemic to secure corporate and customer data. Panasonic and Vio also share the vision of the realization of digitalized society and have partnered with Jasmine. And finally, the question that we're all really asking, is Jasmine coin a good investment? There are many promising aspects of Jasmine that are worth serious consideration. On the one hand, it seems that the value of Jasmine tokens are expected to rise with the expansion of the data protection and utilization market. If tokens continue to be bought in order to use on the Jasmine platform, the value should increase gradually. Now that the coin is available for staking, this should also bring more value. Jasmine claims that Jasmine coin will be a product of demand for the data stored in their lockers and have worked to build an underlying system to receive approval from the Japanese government. The coin is considered by its supporters to be a long-term steady gain investment across the market since it's based on a fundamental concept, IoT data, and has real-world utility. More business announcements will propel the coin's value over time. The limited circulating supply also gives room for more growth and the arrival of the metaverse along with the extra need for data security, could also lead to a rise in value for Jasmine. However, since the coin has remained low for some time, many investors have been speculating on the authenticity of the project. The speculation is also due to some questionable action regarding the sales and distribution of a virtual currency ICO back in April 2021. Of course, competitors and alternatives are also worth considering when evaluating the long-term outlook for Jasmine. The main project that comes to mind when I think of this area is the Basic Attention Token, or BAT. The BAT token is the native token of Brave Browser, and is essentially used to better evaluate real attention paid to online content, rewarding content creators for content that people really view, and even rewarding the people browsing Brave for spending time looking at the content. Brave Browser and BAT also strive to give advertisers better data on their ads' effectiveness while simultaneously keeping the user's data more private. On one hand, BAT has a head start on Jasmine, as it's already been widely implemented and used. On the other hand, Jasmine seems to be more widely focused on taking the data that people already give away on the internet and putting users in more control of its use. Currently, it's difficult to say if this is a point in Jasmine's favor or against. Without the medium of their own browser, it's difficult to know how they intend to implement their plan for their token. But at the same time, if they do successfully come up with a system for securing users' data in their database across browsers and apps, the ecosystem could be even more accessible and widespread. So in conclusion, all in all, the outlook for Jasmine coin looks fairly promising. Since the coin is near its all time low, this could be considered a good time to invest, as long as proper research is conducted to restore faith in the authenticity of the coin. 
The strong partnerships plus a listing of the coin on most major exchange platforms does inspire some confidence against the idea of fraudulent intentions. It's likely to be a reliable gainer over time, rather than a pump and dumps type of investment. Especially since we've seen the pump and there was no rug pull. With the future headed toward the realization of a digital society, Jasmi could be showing us hints of a promising rise to come. But as always, this video only provides a basic overview of Jasmi, and if you're interested in it, I encourage you to research it more on your own. Anyway, that's all for today's video covering Jasmi coin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.